Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and it is time once more for a blazing, swelteringly hot weekly painting progress. I don't know where the rest of you are in this crazy world of ours, but Southern California has been hitting triple digit Fahrenheit's temperatures like every single day almost, and I'm sure some of you Arizonans out there are probably ambivalently shrugging like, so what, what's the big deal, right? Uh, it's just been hot. It's been super duper hot. We just started back to school, as I said, and so to make matters even more fun and exciting and interesting, um, as I've said many times, I've been in education for a number of years, decades at this point, uh, they asked me to switch grades because they needed somebody to take over a spot because HR at the district level decided we needed to just be obnoxious. So I found out Wednesday... No, sorry. I found out last Thursday uh, I had a day, most of Friday, and then today, Monday, I am now in a new grade level. So that's kind of crazy. And it is taking up all my free time. So I'm just going to preface this video saying I might have to slow down a little bit. So please don't be alarmed if there's no weekly painting progress every now and then sporadically over the next few weeks as I try to get things uh, back into a usual routine because after teaching the same level for almost over 20 years you kind of get pretty comfortable and confident in what you're doing so this is kind of a new venture for me but that's okay I enjoy that hopefully <laughs> I might eat those words later and so today is another clean off the table day and we're going to start with this fellow from Erkman's Minis and I feel like I did not do his eyes right, but I don't really care. I'm sure you all know who this lovely little psychic duck is. I'm sure he's not related to any Pokemon or anything. No, no, sorry. And I think his feet are supposed to be a different color, but you know what? I don't care. I was like, he's been hanging around. I haven't done anything with him. It's time to get him just moved on. And speaking of other models from Erkman that needed to get done and move on, I give you Blaze from Arknights, who, after all these years, has still yet to come home to me. Funny fact, if you look right here on that red strap on her chainsaw, you'll notice a big gap for where the strap is supposed to connect. That's because I broke it when I was taking it off of the supports. That was fun. And I don't know what it is lately, but some of these models from Arkman's are just mind-numbingly challenging, trying to get the paintbrush in there to finish things. But you know what? I did it anyway because I'm just stubborn and crazy like that. So yeah, those stupid straps, chainsaws, things, got them all done. And the tail, the hair, and everything, they're all different colors even though it doesn't come out well. And you can see all the spots that I probably need to do a better job of cleaning up the support structures on and I don't feel I did a good job on her face either it's kind of ugly and sloppy and yeah I know I have it super zoomed in but how else are you going to see the face right anyway she is the first unofficial uh <laughs> Arknights model that I can think of for the tabletop and I mean I'm I'm more than happy to have more I have absolutely enjoyed the character designs and if you want to see there's been plenty of Arknights adjacent if not straight up outright uh, examples of the artwork on this channel shown in some of the various books and I'm sure there's gonna be oh there's the Rainbow Six collaboration coming back very soon at least on the American servers so that'll be fun all right besides those two because Erkman never uh, has a dull moment for me there's always something I've got like a bunch of the Guilty Gear models like Johnny and uh, Abba sitting around I think it was Abba right right I'm gonna get those done I was Deciding to paint a bunch of random old conquest models So this is from the initial run. These are the Nords. I don't even know what they're called anymore <laughs> I totally forgot what they're called. They're not Vikings. They're not warriors scavengers. I don't know Scrappers I'll have to go check, but uh, I painted a bunch of random ones. I Didn't paint them well but I did paint them, and there's just a lot of stuff going on with them, and they have like these weird things all over their belts, and they have tons of belts and tons of straps, and after a while I just said, forget it, I want to be done. Again, I know it's super zoomed in, so at least from a distance, you know, I don't think 
the average player is going to be as discerning. Got plenty of Nord stuff finished at this point anyways. I think they're probably my most painted faction, come to think of it. But uh, we'll just keep plugging away at those. I had them handy. Not as nice as the newer sculpts. Those are the pre-Archon uh, produced stuff, but they're decent. With the interesting news that we're going to be seeing uh, new versions of the Men-at-Arms in the future, uh, who knows, maybe we'll see some more of these guys getting redone in some better poses. I, I feel like some of them are kind of silly. They're also a real pain if you actually want to get them onto the unit bases. And of course I say that looking for a unit base and dropping a million things that are nearby me. Okay, here's one. Let's see if I can do it. You know what's going to suck is I say that and like I fought with them. <sighs> I fought with these guys all week just to try to see if I could fit them on a base. And naturally, now they go. Maybe if I swap them out and put them in different spots. Maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know. I guess that's the name of the game is can you play Tetris or musical chairs well enough to get all of these models sticking their limbs out in every possible direction onto a base. And finally this week, another model that's been sitting around way longer than she needs to have, and that is the uh, Lunar Twilight Night Aya. Was that what she was called? So, after spraying the sealer on it, I'm noticing like the silver, it was a lot more pronounced prior to that, but now it looks kind of blah and subdued. So I probably need to go back and put something on there. I didn't do a great job on her. I'll be the first to admit. And I kind of got bored and gave up because I just couldn't tell what was going on. And I still don't know what this weird thing is on her sword. It looks like an extra blade or something, but it was colored like part of the scabbard. So I don't know. I didn't even bother trying to paint a light or anything on the lantern this time. Good enough though. I mean, for the most part, you can see I, I did try. I didn't do the best job on the face, but we got most of the paints in the right spot and got rid of almost all of the weird splotches that I inevitably get on models. So that's a good thing. I'm just happy she's finished. I finally got it done. I'm looking somewhere. I thought, I keep thinking there was a big version of her. I know there was a big version of the first Lunar Twilight Night. I had my dad paint that one. I'm going to have to see if I can find it. I don't know. Now I'm doubting myself. Anyways, I just thought it was fun to have another one done. I'm going to have to see if I have any more of these models laying around for him to paint, because those are always fun. But progress is progress, right? You know what's sad is I have barely touched my 3D printer. And there's so many cool models, and I know my mini factory's got the big sale going on right now, and I've got some really neat stuff that I grabbed, and I haven't bothered to print it yet, because it has been so stinking hot. And I'm sure my neighbors are wondering what the heck I'm doing out in my garage with all the doors open and with all the lights on at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, because that is the only reasonable time to go out there and play with that printer right now. It's just awful. So hopefully, if things can cool down, uh even inside or outside the house, we will see some of the fruits of those endeavors, hopefully in the very near future. Hopefully all of you out there are trying to stay cooler than I am currently. Hopefully you are enjoying your last vestiges of summer, if you even have one, not like me, uh, although I did. But I know school is going to be starting up with Labor Day just around the corner for the rest of you Americans out there. And for everybody else, hopefully you are all enjoying yourselves as well. So with that said, we will have those links down below where you can check a look at this and do a better job yourself. And this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching. And we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.